Hi Virgo, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your Is It In The Cards Love Tarot reading for November 2021. This is a love reading for all Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you to all of you for your support. It is unbelievable to me how the channel has grown and that this is even an opportunity. It's been beautiful and I will continue, so I appreciate all of you. If you're new here, welcome to you. I post new readings every Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, come back in a couple of days. You can watch a new reading. You can watch uh, readings from other parts of your chart. Uh, Fridays are always a general reading. Mondays are a different style every week. So this week is, of course, a love reading. One week I do a pick a card reading. There is a, um, a couple times a week, usually a more in-depth Celtic cross style reading. And then a couple weeks ago, I did a um, reading for one when the veil became thin between physical and non-physical and those potent energies are available to us. So anyway, if you like, and, and tarot's timeless, so if you see something, you can always watch it. I wouldn't put too much of a timeline on anything. Anyway, if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Virgo? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus about love, please. Messages do you have for Virgo about love? Okay. All right, so we will begin here with the tarot, and then we're going to draw three cards to represent your energy, three cards for the person you're attracting, three cards on the advice. You've got temperance, strength, and the page of pentacles. They have the Ace of Pentacles, the Magician, haven't seen the Magician, and the King of Swords. The Advice is the Six of Swords, the Knight of Wands, and the Eight of Cups. Well, I, I do feel like you've got uh, beautiful energies on both sides, but I do feel like there's definitely something about moving towards a higher level of commitment, especially if you've had something that's been kind of on and off with somebody. I feel like it's time to, to set the, you know, set the commitment in motion here, get more committed. Um, you've got Sagittarius and Leo here. You have, looks like all the elements here. Um, so with the um, Temperance card, Archangel Michael and Strength, it's really a beautiful combination. I do want to point out too, they also, right, have that infinity symbol as a crown. So I feel like that's significant, but we'll get to that in a minute. So you have an energy here of really having a, a wonderful attraction, having this ability to attract people. And it's all through your heart space. People feel that in you. They feel that when they come near you. Um, so with the uh, temperance card, it's, of course, um, an energy of bringing people together, of great healing. It, it can also be a card of moderation, though, too. So if there's been something with, like I said, it's time for a commitment here. If there's been something with trying to pace a relationship out, I get that. Like somebody's been trying to not get too serious too soon. Um, it, it may be time to kind of let go of that and just allow it to go because you've got it twice here too with the strength card. Now the strength card too is about um, suppressing feelings. So if you've got feelings for somebody or maybe they've got it for you, or like I said, you've been dating kind of casually, I think somebody here is ready to get more serious. So with strength, though, it does come from a place of pure love, and there's a you know wonderful energy here with both of the strength, both of the major arcana there here. It's also advice too to meditate, to quiet the mind, to be in a place of you know like sort of tranquil state. Some would would talk about the state akin to sleep. Neville Goddard taught that it's that time when you're just about to fall asleep. There may be times then when you can ask for guidance and you'll get it. So with the Page of Pentacles here, the pages are always about new energies and he's optimistic, he's curious, he holds that pentacle up high though, right? And then um, a way of showing appreciation, showing how much he treasures it. I feel like whatever relationship you're attracting here, it's exactly that, something you'll treasure, you'll cherish, you'll invest in, you'll want to take care of, you'll want to protect each other's hearts. There's, there's definitely an energy of love here. So I would say, yes, it's in the cards. So in their energy, I do feel like they want a long-term commitment. And I think they're ready to say it. It may be them that initiates. Now, the um, aces, of course, are about beginnings and initiations. 
The Ace of Pentacles is a new chapter and it offers long-term stability. So if this person's moved around a lot, maybe that's part of it. I do feel like they're going to put down roots somewhere and they want to really be in a relationship. They're not looking to just do casual dating anymore. And, if, and with the Magician, it's an energy that you, you have the power that creates worlds here. So I feel like this person is a real go-getter. They may have their own business or they're doing some side things. I do feel like they're kind of like never a dull moment though. Like they're always kind of on the go. They're very creative. And with the magician energy here, they are very upfront. This is an energy of getting rid of delusions, not creating them. This is not stage magic. It's magic with a CK. So they may be into some kind of, um, Oh, a cult, I guess, is the best way. I don't mean it in a negative way. I think that word scares people. It shouldn't. It's really about just divination tools and mysticism. So let's say mysticism because that sounds um, less scary for general terms. But anyway, I do feel like they are manifesting success everywhere they go. And they see a relationship as one of the things that they have missing, a serious relationship. The King of Swords is nobility, so a very trustworthy energy, very direct energy. So this may be somebody who delivers their um, interests in a very straightforward way, and it's trustworthy. It's The King of Swords is very good by their words, so there's nothing here. The Magician, too. I mean, the Magician won't be fooled. The Magician sees through trickery and deceit and stuff like that. So I do feel like you have somebody here that you can really trust, you can rely on. It's long term again, and it's, um, you know, there's still fun here though with the magician. There's love, there's passion, communication, and then of course that stability that we've talked about. So there's definitely nothing to fear here, Virgo. If you've got some trepidation, I'd say you don't need to. Um, Six of Swords has you moving forward from uncertainty to more certain higher ground with that Eight of Cups. The Sixes, of course, are all about balance and symmetry. So if you've had some rocky times or uncertain times in a relationship or you just wasn't, you weren't sure where it was going, I do see it as moving ahead. Now that Knight of Wands, that's been coming up a lot in these readings, but I feel like it is more about the passion that the Knight of Wands has. It's a very sexually charged kind of energy. He always gets that bad uh, reputation though of, oh, he's in and out, he's unstable. Um, I don't necessarily see it as having to be that though. I do feel like it's bringing in because you've got so much stability in the other areas. It lets you know that you can have stability and still have fun. It's not like stability and boring has to be have to be the two roommates. Now with the Eight of Cups, that is an energy. Eights are all about vibration and movement. And so the vibration of the Eight of Cups is the hero's journey. It's wanting a deeper commitment. It's being in that place of seeking. What you are seeking is also seeking you. So nobody has to be born here. The energy is already here. It's just a matter of alignment. And so with the meditation that we talked about with temperance, you've got a new beginning here. You've got the sun a couple of times here. Um, the, the sun and the moon, of course, here. The moon always mirrors the sun. We know that. So I do feel like they're trying to tell you you have a new beginning with someone that is passionate, is stable, and it moves forward. So the good things are coming in here for sure. Let's see here what the angels have to say for you, Virgo. Okay. Ask and it will be given, they say. Seek and you will find. All right, a yes, no, maybe for Virgo, please. You have here compromise. So um, with this, there is uh, some cards of movement and travel. So I don't know if there's a possibility the person lives at a distance. That may be part of this. Um, but I do feel like, too, if you're saying, because you've got that holding back energy and they've got the moving forward energy. So maybe something to do that too, if you're still kind of wanting to take things slower. Uh, maybe you can meet in the middle somewhere. That's when the best deals are made. You've got romance, not surprised to see that here with that Knight of Wands. There's passion, there's romance, there's fun. I definitely saw somebody going for a walk, but honestly, I felt like it was after the reading is done. I, I know that's probably 
I, I random, but it did. It seemed like I got this right when I started shuffling these, but maybe there's something to do with that. Remain positive, they say. So, of course, there's billions of people in the world. There's people here for you. You're ready, they say. And you've got a yes. Okay, we like that. This is from Louise Hay, Life Loves Me. Life Loves You, actually. Um, you have, I welcome miracles into my life. Be open to miracles today. You will experience a miracle each time you decide to let life love you a little bit more than before. Well, I love you too, Virgo, and I'll be back again soon.